I Love Him by the Beatles. Great song. Starts off with this F sharp minor. We'll keep it to an easy strum where we get this down, down, up, up, down, up. What I find is the chord changes can be tough to get this bar chord. If you're already played a long time and you got bar chords, that's great. But I like to talk a little bit about teaching people who have it to learn to take finger three and teach it to kind of you might even want to just take all your other fingers off and teach it to kind of do that where your finger knuckle bends back this way now that's a great exercise to try on you know a flat surface and just but lightly you don't want to really forcefully do it it just should be a really light thing happening you don't push hard on the surface and then try that you just set it there nice and light and try to make your knuckle go the other way so that's a great trick to get to this bar chord B so you might want to just try sitting on that string and go like that so that way you see how it just lands right on these three and this finger can has to try to catch four three and two so we get this F sharp minor and we'll do a down up down up as our strum so our strum would be one two and three and four and one two and three and four and you can practice that along with me by holding your strings lightly i'll do a count in and then you can try it it's basically a down down up up down up so if i start the count it'll be one two and i'll go slow so you can get into the rhythm with it one two three four we get one, two, and three, and four, and 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 one, Notice how for three I bring my hand down, but I don't strum the string. So we get this one, two, and three, and. I'll do it again. One, two, and three, and four, and. And I get a nice sweep with my pick. Should come down this edge of the pick and back up the other edge. Never flat. You don't want to get your picks sitting flat i'll show you more like this so you can actually see the pick but sitting flat like that's no good should be coming off the side shouldn't be a lot of pick sticking out and you should always have your finger as a hook and your thumb knuckle you should be able to see not this way so that your pick points to the corner of the neck so back to the all my love and we get this down down up up down up that's the verse part um, and then he does the verse again so then he goes through it again and then we're into a chorus where we get this cool we can come up here and we get this we can bar the C sharp minor here Seven.
uh, chord progression chord progression starting in F sharp minor on the F sharp minor chord. I think this song's in a couple different keys, um, but I'm I'm all about trying to help people who start learning to get these changes. So you can see that's pretty tricky to get that B. So we talked a little bit about that and trying to get this finger to bend backwards. So it's nice to try to get this, put your finger three on and try to get that a little bit. Elect uh, acoustics are very hard to play when you're first learning. Electrics are the best to get. It's a lot easier to press and build strength in your hand and dexterity. Um, but I'm noticing in this song here, we come from the F sharp minor to the B and we go to an E, that's a hard change from B to E. So you really want to think about, you know, these two fingers getting from here. Finger two is not doing anything. So if he's up and ready, then basically three just has to slide back to two and drop these two in. So you're getting a lot of this where I'm like this, I'm on my B chord and I'm going to take this note on the four string, slide it to fret two and get back on my fingertips. So that's a pretty cool exercise to work. If you have a hard time barring, you can just play it like this with three fingers and work that. It takes time to get them. So every day I give my students exercises to try maybe starting here and pick each note and see how long you can keep it ringing for so you're building strength in your hand. I mean, when I first did it, I got a lot of pain there and a lot of pain there because I was building muscle there. Now it doesn't hurt anymore, but... I do recommend electrics to build the strength because you, you, you know, or really nice guitar. Um, the guitars with strings that are really high on them can make it really hard to uh, push the strings into the fretboard. And so I try to see how long, and you know, all of a sudden when you're first doing it, it's going to sound like this, right? Because you can't keep the pressure, but try as long as you can. I mean, if you get tired, your hand gets tired, you got to let go and, and slowly, again, build the muscle in your hand. So getting from an F sharp minor to a B we talked about. And then getting from this B major to an E major. So I would, I would tend, you could work it like this if you just want to get through the song where you don't have to bar that and that. This finger's not really barring anything here. It's just pressing on five while this one's pressing on four, three, and two. So a lot of my students have a hard time getting their finger to bend that way because they keep the wrist like this. You need your wrist to come back to kind of get that and be careful. I mean, be gentle with your fingers and then slide up a five and then there's six and then uh, seven or nine. And you can just try to get that for a bit and try to keep that finger pressing on four, three, and two all the way down. Anyways, there's lots of uh, tips on chord changes on my YouTube channel as well for the easier open chords. And my website's going to be up and running soon. I promise I'm, I'm the only one doing the lessons on it, so I'm building lots of content. Because of over the years of teaching, I understand where the troubles are and um, I'm trying to help everybody so that they can actually learn how to play guitar. Um, the other thing is yeah, when you're playing guitar, you always want to make sure the fingers are almost touching the strings above so they don't catch the strings below. So if my fingers are way down here and I'm catching all the strings that I'm strumming down to, whereas if I put them so they're almost touching the top, this one's touching five, this one's almost touching three, then we can clear them all. But if I put them down here, put it more on the, so the tip of my fingers more here instead of up, I ask my students to be more on the bottom of your fingertip when you're playing these chords. And you can see a C chord, I kind of lean in a bit. But anyways, lots of those tips and tricks. All right, I hope that uh, helps you get through all my loving. Don't forget the strum was just a down, down, up, up, down. See you again next time. Bye for now.